Hey, hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff back again with birthday gifts number three. This is, as mentioned in the previous video, this is the gift cards that I got from a couple of my children to uh, the local record store. One that I go to for all of the uh, record store days and all that, and they can go there and get a gift card. So they did that, and I ended up with two gift cards, and so I went back to that store. This is the same store that I went to on the first edition of the thing where I got the Van Halen and stuff like that Van Halen album I got it there so got the gift cards later that day and I thought I can go back but I went back and so I'm looking and I'm thinking well I don't want to just go through and find a bunch of there was a couple used things I could have got and I could have went through and just did a lot of hole filling uh, from the used section I thought no you know what I'm going to do I'm going to focus on new releases that are in my wish list that I was waiting for the price to drop on, but new releases that I have yet to get that, you know, are, are regular price and, and pick up some of those. So I'm looking to, I, I looked a little more extensively than usual. So I saw a lot of, a lot of decent stuff. Um, but what I ended up going with was the new one from KK Priest. I still had not picked this up yet. I have the first album, so I definitely wanted the second. Um, and of course, if you don't know KK's Priest, that's, you know, KK Downing of Judas Priest when he left Jake. Judas Priest formed KK's Priest. Got Tim Ripper Owens on vocals from the formerly a Priest singer. Now the interesting thing, this is the second album. Interesting thing, the sticker on here, it says that it's an exclusive and strictly limited Napalm Records mail order edition. So how'd the mail order edition end up in a store? And it's a transparent color. There's a bunch of colors out there. So I've listened to this a bit online, digitally. Um, so I already know what, what, what I'm into and what I'm getting, and I enjoyed that. So I grabbed that, kept flipping Bruce Dickinson's new one. This one I was on the fence about a little bit because I have listened to it, and, and it didn't do a whole lot for me. It's okay, but, you know, it's Bruce Dickinson. I'm trying to get the rest of his, his uh, collection. I've got, there's two or three of the later ones I don't have on vinyl, so I knew I'd eventually get it. Um, there's even a song on here. What song was it? The song on here that made it on the art. Because this album has been years in the recording. I think he said in that clip that he started recording this album. I don't know. Was it 10 years ago? It was years ago. He started kind of working on it. And so, you know, one of these songs is actually, and I'm totally drawing a blank now. Um, one of these songs is actually on the latest Iron Maiden album. But he had done it solo first. Um, so, you know, it's kind of straightforward rock. It, you know, it's good. I'm sure I have to, it'll grow on me. I want to pick. You know, I wanted to pick it up, but like I said, upon first and second listen, it was kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's a double record set, gatefold, all that stuff. So you've probably seen it. It's been out for a few months now. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. And then the third one. So the third one was like, well, I'm at the point where the gift cards are almost done, but not quite. And I needed to get something to push me over that edge. And there were a couple items that I could have went for. And this is where I started looking at maybe some of the used stuff. They had a great copy of... Uh, Catch Catch Fever there, which I don't have a copy of that yet. And they had, uh, you know, the Sticks album with Mr. Roboto. And I thought, you know, there's some of these things I could pick up. But then I thought, well, no, let's stick with the plan. Find something new. This album I've seen at my local store. They have two copies. It's been there. I look at, they have a date on all their stickers as to when it hit stock. And the album's been there since late 2023. So I thought, um, was it 2023 or maybe early 2023? I think whenever, it must whenever it came out. So I thought, you know... I kept him and hauling back and forth and then and then I remember that just literally like a week or two before this I saw a video from this album and thought you know I don't have that and it sounds killer so I went ahead and jumped on it and that's the new Udo album Touchdown is this uh is this the newest album this is like the 2023 release um for some reason I saw the cover and the football and the touch I just I think is this some kind of a sports album I never really stopped them. Like, what? For some reason, it kind of was a turnoff because it was sports related. And I'm like, I'm not a big sports fan. And I'm like, is it going to be a bunch of theme songs from sports teams? I just never stopped and looked at it. And I just, for some reason, it just initially, I just was sour to it and didn't pay attention to it. Then I saw the video for Touchdown. I'm like, oh, man, it's smoking. It's just like what he normally does. I don't know. For some reason, there was a something there initially that kind of made me not even pay attention. But I'm glad I, you know, fought against that and did. And, uh, it, you know, it, it, it's a great album. It's on a blue, white, and clear splatter. 
So that was the third one, and then I paid the difference for the three, and that is the end of the birthday presents for the birthday of my uh, big birthday from the 27th. So anyway, it was fun. Got some good stuff, and uh, yeah, that's it for this one, though. No, I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.